The one word I would use to describe Dr. Pop is an optimist. When people are discouraged about working in Haiti, how things are difficult, he says, well, Vanessa, the pessimists have all left. Only the optimists stay in this country. So if you're gonna stay, buckle up and just work hard as you can and make things happen. He has a favorite line. He said, we didn't ask for it, but we got it. Now we have to do something with it. Jusco is one of the leading health organizations in Haiti that has been addressing TB problems, HIV problems, cholera problems, and what have you. The first cases of AIDS were recognized by JSCO in 1982, and Dr. Pap was one of the first leaders to describe the AIDS epidemic. We've worked intimately with the Ministry of Health to turn around this epidemic, and we're one of the few countries in the world where the success story was so pronounced so early on. What makes Jiskyo special is the fact that Jiskyo was initiated by a great visionary, and that is Dr. Pop. Working on HIV AIDS in the early years was tough for anyone because it was an evolving, somewhat frightening, somewhat frustrating situation. But Bill did all of that under circumstances that were very, very difficult. They've served as world leaders in treating HIV and preventing HIV. A lot of other countries could learn from what Haiti has done and what Dr. Pop has done. I have worked at Wild Cornell for three and a half years, and I specifically came to Wild Cornell for the opportunity to work in Haiti with Dr. Pop. Right out of residency, was working as a primary care doctor. At the time, AIDS was, you know, it was a death sentence. And then to go down and meet Dr. Pop, who was so positive and so optimistic and was talking about treating people and that we can fight this disease, we can beat it, it was just inspiring. I've been working here for over 13 years. I have to say it's been a privilege to have the opportunity to work with Dr. Pop, to have him teach me how to keep high standards in everything that I am achieving. I feel that Dr. Pap had a huge impact on the people of Haiti, but also on the medical field. He introduced research in Haiti. Bill has been an incredible leader in, in the global health arena. He's been so creative in the research that he's pursued. He's been so effective in training the next generation of young researchers. He's been so collaborative to bring others to help him address problems in Haiti. Just a few months ago, Dr. Pop realized that people were coming to the clinic and if they had too long of a wait and they were hungry, then they would leave the clinic. And so he put coffee and like little like, sandwiches out for, for patients. I mean, this is 15 years after providing care. He's still wandering around the clinic trying to figure out how to do it a little better. Dr. Pop is for me a true visionary leader. He's clearly demonstrated over the past three decades that with minimal resources, he's been able to have a maximum of impact. Nothing, nothing suppresses him. He is truly a national hero. He is a quintessential clinician, a world-renowned researcher, and a great mentor and teacher. Dr. Pop exemplifies the best of academic medicine and best of Walt Cornell. Haiti is a very difficult country, a very poor country. It's a very poor population, and there is a lot of migration also. Bill Pop and Jesco have had to react to unimaginable uh, disasters. Obviously, the biggest that comes to mind is the, uh, the earthquake. I remember after the earthquake, everything was destroyed, and he said, this is an opportunity to build it better than it ever was. And I think most people under those circumstances would be crushed by the enormity of what was confronting them. But that has never been his case. Je n'ai jamais rencontré un leader qui est aussi travailleur, une capacité de travail inimaginable. He's a fantastic guy. <laughs> and I am very proud of him and the kind of works he did and he's still doing. 
is unbelievable. C'est un médecin euh, qui aurait pu très probablement être un grand médecin à New York à Cornell University, mais qui a préféré se mettre au service de la médecine haïtienne, de la population haïtienne. Pour moi, c'est un, un grand médecin, c'est un grand homme, un grand haïtien.